an author. And the first of these is, of course, the importance of clarity. How clear and simple is your message? How clear and simple is your writing style? We illustrate this with a few photographs. Have a look at this picture. What's wrong with this image? Well, of course, it's not very clear. There's no clarity to the picture. This is much better. You can see here what's going on much more clearly. And it's not just a trivial point. Many authors, if not most academic authors, do not think about their readers when they're putting their articles together. Most people think, as I've done in the past, and I'm sure you've done as well, when writing an article, you tend to think about yourself, what you want to say, what you want to get out of the writing process, the message that you want to get across. And that's not actually the best, most effective way to do this. Think about your readers. The most important part of writing anything, the most important thing to think about in any kind of writing are the readers, the users, the people who are going to be interacting with your work on the other side. In academic publishing in particular, readers are so hugely important because these are the people who are going to use our research. These are the people who are going to write and cite and use our work in the future. So we have to be clear. And I would strongly encourage you to think about clarity of writing and clarity of message when it comes to your next academic article. Think to yourself, what is the key message of my research?